Okay, this is a brief introduction to quantum equation to all the guild members who haven't had a chance to do and to participate in quantum inversion and who want to but are confused and are not sure what's going on so there is a document and the document is actually very good and this is the document uh, on my smartphone the video is going to be 90 degrees but that's okay because this is a, a layout of the settlement in quantum incursion and it's also at 90 degrees okay now this is a document it gives a good outline and a good overview you just have to navigate the document because it's a spreadsheet a lot of information so there aren't pages it's all up front but I in my smartphone window can only see parts of it at a time so read the document be familiarized with it and then right here it tells you step by step what to do on each day okay and how it will look okay so it even gives you the time of when to do it so it's time to it's just about time to harvest so let me go into my forge of empire and introduce you to how the quantum inversion actually looks like you click here on this building and i'll just zoom in on it next to to the right of guild battleground and it brings you to the map okay so the map has these lines and these green flags are nodes that we've already as a guild cleared so let's go to the first node and here's you'll see it's cleared and these are all the people who participated in doing that I had three battles in that particular uh, node and I was successful and when we have a battle it gives us a choice to use any troops we want or specific troops if we use the specific troops that it tells us we get double the rewards and double the points for winning the battle okay so the 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 node requires 130 I guess you can call it ticks and if you win the battle you get one tick if you win the battle with the troops that the uh, quantum incursion asks you to use then you get two ticks you get double so obviously by doing that we have the battles and we speed up our ability to clear the nodes so we've got one two three this particular node was not a battle but it was a donation where we had to donate goods and supplies I was too late to the party on this one so I pretty sure I missed it I tried to put it in but I think I was the last yeah oh I did get two in at the last moment that was all that was left so that's why I have two at the bottom so everybody who participated by donating uh, goods or supplies okay now let's go to the current node when you move okay let's back up a little bit we start out here in this beginning okay 
from here to go to any note we need to move and when we move from one note to another you have to spend all the way on the top left I guess what is it called quantum actions okay so currently I have 94,000 I started out with a hundred thousand every hour I earn five thousand so when I move from one note to the other I pay quantum action uh, units I guess when I do a battle which I will do in a few seconds okay and here's it gives me the layout on the right side it says if I were to use and it gives me the image for the units so the unit on the left is artillery the unit on the right the boot is light units you have light units and heavy units okay so what are these light units and artillery well if you go to your army you see the same icons right here so when i press on this icon i get the range units when i press on the artillery i get the ballistas okay because if i were to put this one you don't see that but when i press on the light unit you see and here when i press all the way on the left and all of them okay so we get four ballistas and eight of all the other units which are fast units the horse okay or in this case mounted warrior and then the heavy unit in this case uh, the soldier soldier the light unit sorry the light unit is a soldier the heavy unit is a leg legionnaire artillery is ballista range unit is the archer fast unit is the horse those are the five types of military units for every age but they have different attributes at different age or eras okay then you also have special uh, units like rogues champions at the lower ages, a champion is a, you could call it a glorified fast unit. But at some point, I think in PE, it changes, uh, or maybe modern, it changes from a light, uh, from a fast unit to the heavy unit, which happens to be the tank. So they have their own attributes. Now, One of the best tanks to have is the future era, which is the hover tank, because that particular unit has a stealth feature. Depending on the terrain that it's on, you can either see it or not see it. But the champion, which is a glorified tank, does not have that feature. It does not have the stealth. I didn't design the game, somebody else did, so don't ask me why. So, let's get back to the battles, okay? In this screen, there's a lot of information. Right here on the top right, there's a crown. The crown is telling you who is participating in this particular node. And you can see, here I am, number four right now. I have two battles or two wins actually one battle but I used the correct units that it required so I get a score of two I see winner had at least one battle where he did not so he's got number three okay same thing with Jackson he's got one okay you can only get an odd number if you did not always use the units that they require of you so what does that mean go back here if you go to the left 
You see, defeat the army or defeat the army using only these units and you see in the green side it's got a plus two oh sorry an x2 which means double two times okay now what other information do you have here it tells you on the bottom fight and gives you the price 35 action units which is at the top left okay now here is your rewards so you have a 40 percent chance of getting one of these five rewards so you can get 20 percent 13 forge points if you use the units that they require of you you'll get double the rewards you'll get 26 the next one is three quantum shards that's one way to get more shards now if you use the required units you will get six not three and the first battle that i did here there are also these goods you can get uh 53 previous age goods 27 goods or next age goods 13 okay I got 54 goods because I got the middle one, the 27 goods current age, which were doubled. That was my reward. And as you can see here, there's a roll of the dice, which means it's your chance. And you'll get 40% chance by winning your battle to get one of those five rewards I just mentioned so let's go and choose fight okay system is slow not sure why there we go so now I have a screen so as you can see I've got my four ballistas and four light units okay and this is my opposition I don't see the opposition until I choose the fight, okay? So I'm going to be fighting one stone thrower, okay? One archer, and then I have one spear fighter, one horse, and the last is one warrior, okay? And here are the bonus that the units have against me okay and you can see when it's facing a light unit it gets a three three no a three ticks bonus right now it's at 20 percent boost my boost is zero i don't have any boosts but that's okay. I have skill. So I know how to fight. And these are Bronze Age units. So even if they have a 20% boost, they're no match for me. But I still have to be careful because five of those units can gang up on one unit and I will lose it because I've already lost two archers, one fast unit, and two light units okay so what's my strategy i'm going to sit back use my ballistas to pick off these five units okay i gotta be careful that the stone thrower does not reach me on the first wave so we'll see the horse can reach me on the second wave and possibly the archer, the heavy unit, the warrior, cannot reach me in the first two waves. The light unit, the spear fighter, might, I'm not sure. I'll take a look once the battle starts. So, 
I click on fight. Now, remember, I'm doing manual battles. Manual battles, it's important your placement of your units. You want to place them out of range of being attacked by the opposition. Okay? And also, when you get hit, you can still survive the first hit, sometimes the second hit. And you have a chance to move the unit to a safe area where it cannot be touched until the battle is over, okay? So, let's go and fight. So the horse comes in, and my light unit can reach it. The horse can reach all my units on the next wave. I can take, I can take the horse with my light unit, but I will need two hits. The archer can hit me if I, the only way I can hit the horse with my light unit is if I'm next to it. And you see there are two green tiles next to the horse which I can reach and attack him from there. But by doing that, the archer will hit me. Okay? I cannot take the archer before the archer has his move because horses go first. Light units go second, archers go third, heavy units go fourth, artillery goes fifth. And then if you have rogues, which you don't have here, they go next, okay? So, what am I going to do? Well, let's see which of my units, oh, it looks like all my units can be hit by the stone thrower. Okay, but my I have four ballistas, so the ballistas can hit the stone thrower first, take him out of action, and the ballistas can hit the horse, okay? So I'm going to pass, but I want to move my unit to a position where it cannot be reached by the archer, but he can still reach the other units on the next wave. Now, can I move him? All right. So I'm going to move one light unit here. What I'm basically going to do is make it difficult for the horse to go through. It's like I'm creating a wall. So now you see. Okay, you can still hit those two ballistas. All right. Okay, I made a mistake. I didn't check, so he hit one of my light units. Okay, so this ballista can hit the stone thrower, so I attack him. And I attack him again. And now I'm going to attack the horse. Now, I did not take the horse out of commission, but... I did weaken the horse, okay, so my ballista has been hurt, but that's okay. He's not eliminated yet. So the light unit can reach the ballista. So I need to take, I'm oh, sorry, the archer. So I need to take out the, all right. So I'm going to take this guy here. Ah! 
Now, these two guys, I don't want to do that, can reach those two light units, okay, which is okay. But you see where the horse is? He's wounded, but they cannot reach him. Now, the two units that are left, one is weaker than the other. I can attack one and get a four out of seven hit against him. Take and the other one, which is the heavy unit, I can only get half, two out of four. So what I'm going to do is going to attack him, attack the weaker one with my one remaining light unit. Okay, and now he hit me and eliminated me. So that wasn't too smart. Well, so now I've eliminated one. So well, basically what I'm going to do now is just move out of the way. Okay, so he cannot do anything. And now I have four ballistas who can go ahead and finish him off. I can use diamonds if I wanted to revive him. But 45 diamonds, it's okay. I don't mind losing one unit because I'm not going to be fighting every day only with these units. I have a settlement that I'll go to next. So now the battle is over and I won. Let's see if I get a reward or not. Remember, it's only 40% that I will. Okay, here's my reward. Not what I wanted. I wanted the shards, but okay, I didn't get them. As you can see, I get double the rewards, 26 forge points. Okay, it is what it is. So now the battle is over, and I look. And now you see my point score is four. four. I went from two to four. Okay? And... UT is ahead of me with six, and Kane is uh, uh, tied with me with four. So we're done with the battle part. Now let's go to the settlement. Now this is the settlement, okay? Harvest time. I don't know how to harvest because I've never done it before, but I'm guessing it's like this. Just collect. Yep. So, collect. 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 All right. Remember, you only harvest every 10 hours. And that's a pain in the neck. Okay. So now, we've harvested. Okay. This is the layout. Unfortunately, I made a mistake. You see my town hall? I should have rotated my town hall clockwise. Uh, sorry. Uh, I should have rotated it from right to left so that the two expansions that I bought and where I placed the amphitheaters they're supposed to be here and here. But I looked at the map from the document and did pay attention and I didn't realize that the top is over there 
on the right, not on the left. Not a big deal for me because I already figured out how to rearrange the roads and the units so I can use the space that I purchased already. Okay? Now, go back to the documents. First thing you need to do is harvest, which I did. Okay? United States is playing Jamaica in the Nation League semifinal. All right. So now, let's go back to the document. See what I need to do next. Okay? So, I'm just going to turn my head to the side. Where are the instructions? I think the instructions are here. Okay. So, first you harvest. Then you sell one butcher and you build one cottage. You wait one hour until the cottage is done. You sell one amp amphitheater and you build one good building. You wait one hour until the good, the good building is done. You produce 12 goods and sell the good building afterwards. Buy one expansion with 30 goods next to the two you've already bought. Build one tailor. Build one roof tile house. Build one amphitheater. And log in one hour later to start the tailor's productions. Okay? So, as you can see, the townhouse on the top here, but I have it on the left. Okay. But it says, sell one butcher, okay? So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Which butcher did he end up selling? One, two, ah. Okay. He's got eight butchers. So I don't know which butcher he sold. Oh wait, is it a butcher or is it a cottage? Butcher. Ah, okay. So you see the tailor. All right, so he basically sold the butcher all the way on the bottom right and he replaced it with the tailor okay all right so let's follow the instructions first sell one butcher okay this butcher is the one that needs to be sold Okay, I guess I got some something back for selling it. All right, now let's go back and see next instruction. Build one cottage. Where did he put the cottage? Well, it doesn't matter. Right now I can only put the cottage where the butcher was, okay? So, let's go build. Here's my cottage, okay? Now, eventually, the cottage will end up here, where there is. Okay. Let's go back and follow instructions.
cute. Now we have to wait until the co the cottage is finished. Okay, one hour. All right. Sell one amphitheater and build one goods building. The problem is because I sold the wrong one. I mean, I bought the expansion in the wrong place, so I can only sell this one. And I need to connect it to a road. So sell. And build a goods building. So I need to select. So I'm going to select iron. Oh, here it tells me, by the way, how many other people have selected. So actually six other people already selected iron. Three selected limestones. Five have selected jewelry. Three have selected ebony, and two have selected cloth. But I'm going to select limestone because that's what we agreed on before we started quantum incursions, okay? Confirm selection. All right. So why does it, uh, I think I have to wait till, I don't have enough population or, Okay. Uh, what's my happiness level? So I'm at a hundred percent, hundred twenty percent. I don't know if the cottage will take more than an hour now because I sold the amphitheater too early. Let's just take a look. No, still okay. I can use diamonds. No, I can use shards to build instantly. But no, I'm not interested in that. Okay, so once again, let's go back and look at the goods building and figure out what it is that. All right, so my cost is 5,000. Yeah, I don't have enough population. I only. So I have to wait. Okay, so we wait. And let's go back in the meantime, look at the document again. All right, so I should have waited one hour before I saw the amphitheater, okay and then build the goods building. All right, now wait one hour until the good building is ready, okay. And then produce 12 goods and get the goods building and sell the goods building afterwards. The reason we sell the goods building right after 
we produce the 12 goods, we need the space for the other things we're using it for. And we need the population that the goods building will be occupying while it's on to build the tailor. Okay. Any questions? Ask me. Send me a message. I'll be more than happy to explain. I hope this video gives you a good idea of what needs to be done. Read this document. It's very good, very comprehensive. You got the layouts here. This is the first harvest, okay? And then there's going to be a, a second one. 10 hours or however hours, probably 10 hours from the time the Taylor production is set, okay, which will be an hour from now will be the cottage, we'll get the, ta the goods, the goods takes almost instantaneous, doesn't take up time, then we sell the goods building, then we build the tailor, and we set the production for the tailor once the hour for it to become active has elapsed. Okay, I think I'm pretty much done here. Oh boy, 38 minutes. I talk too much. <laughs>